Azure Sentinel lab demo. So first step is creating log analytics workspace. Right. And then uh, creating Azure Sentinel and Azure Sentinel associated with log analytics workspace because Sentinel runs on top of log analytics workspace. Means like you can understand as a log server in fact. And from different uh, sources, logs collected are uh, forwarded to log analytic workspace. For lab demonstration, already there is one virtual machine running in Azure, right? So we can configure data connected to forward security windows security events right means logs where to log analytic workspace so with the help of connector windows security events or log messages forwarded to log analytics workspace so log analytic workspace is like very similar to the log server so logs are continuously forwarded to log analytics workspace right and then after we will create rule logic to like create an incident based on like different parameters or a rule in fact for example if we want that uh, 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 incident should get uh, generated if user is created deleted within 10 minutes or less than 10 minutes right so if a user is created and deleted within 10 minutes so there should be an alert generated right and that's what sentinel does or any sim tool in fact right rule logic so even for that like creating rule logic can be complex can be simple so if we use template right built-in flow logic rule so yes like very simple but for advanced rule logic we can create our own rule in fact not template based but for that good knowledge of push to query language right is required then so if you know like push to query language you you have very good understanding of the syntax so even you can create your custom rule logic Okay, because without creating rule logic, just forwarding logs to a centralized log analytics workspace and then configuring Sentinel, right? Meaningless because there are too many logs, in fact. Manually, we, we cannot do anything, right? So there has to be a parsing, correlation, right? Incident uh, based on rule logic, okay? So that's what uh, lab objective is, but uh, you, you understand like uh, you can forward Palo to firewall logs, F5 load balancer, 14 Linux server machine, on-prem server machine to log analytic workspace, a centralized log server. And then on top of that, we configure Sentinel, right? And approximately 125 or 128 connectors are supported by Azure Sentinel right and pricing is like very much based on number of connectors that you used amount of data that is ingested to log analytic workspace so you will have to check price for sentinel right so there is no fixed price for sentinel varies like like from number of connectors data that is ingested or forwarded to log analytic workspace okay so for this lab demonstration just I'll be using a uh, Windows virtual machine, but you, you understand like same mechanism, same way we configure like, but yes, configuration would be different, of course, because if we want to forward Palo Alto log to log analytic workspace from on-prem, then different way like we will have to configure a Linux machine as a proxy between Palo Alto and log analytic workspace. For Linux, then different ways, even on-prem machine, then Windows Server, then isn't software need to be downloaded and installed. But if virtual machine is in the Azure portal itself, so even isn't software or extension is installed automatically. 
installed and connected with log analytic workspace right and then, then depends like what type of connector we have used if we have used like windows security events connected like azure monitor is in basically ama so all security event logs forwarded to log analytic workspace so i hope you understand like uh, what we are going to do in the azure sentinel lab right virtual machine already running so we are not going to uh, waste time in spinning up virtual machine so and even if log analytic workspace is not created up front a state away we go to uh, create and configure sentinel no log analytic workspace then yes no problem even on the same page we find option to create log analytic workspace because without log analytic workspace sentinel cannot be configured right because sentinel is integrated with the log analytics workspace and as i mentioned like you can understand log analytic workspace is like log server a centralized place to like for the logging purpose right so logs coming from different log sources windows machine linux machine palo alto firewall f5 some other like servers right so a centralized log server okay and then with the help of rule logic like incident is created right alert is generated all right so i'm going to uh, take you to azure portal and instead we will start lab demonstration so search log analytic workspace and click create to create a new log analytics workspace right so you can create a new resource group sentinel rg and this is my log so my log analytics workspace reason select reason review and create right and once log analytics workspace is created then we will create azure sentinel sim tool a sim so your deployment is complete home microsoft sentinel create so add microsoft sentinel to a workspace workspace is already created so select the workspace and if not created then even we can create workspace from this page add to add sentinel so sentinel is added to log analytic workspace and without log analytic workspace you cannot add sentinel all right so sentinel is a a uh, free trial activated for 30 days okay microsoft sentinel so click okay cloud native sim to help you focus on what matters most so sentinel is very big topic right there is dedicated training for sentinel or sim tool so if you want to be expert in azure sentinel so i would strongly recommend it recommend taking up a dedicated training program or course for sentinel or even you can explore like options at your own also because uh, resources or documents are available even you can refer microsoft documents so if you want to read more about a uh, sentinel notebook and some other like uh, options so, like soar or remediation right so definitely you should prefer microsoft document so in this section like in azure security az500 sentinel is just one topic in fact right so log analytic workspace created sentinel associated with the log analytic workspace what next so already if i just show you a virtual machine so there is one windows virtual machine running 
in Azure portal, right? So objective is to force like forward security events logs to log analytic workspace. So if I just show you configuration page data connectors, data connectors configuration under configuration in Sentinel. So total there are 126 connectors, right? Microsoft is continuously uh, increasing number of connectors. Uh, to connect different log sources log sources and what do i mean by log sources like palo alto firewall 14 firewall f5 load balancer linux machine windows machine right on prem azure virtual machine so to just like retrieve logs from different sources connectors is required right 126 and uh, connected zero so if you uh, just search here uh, Palo Alto for example so here like we have Palo Alto networks firewall so open connector piece and you will find configuration steps right how you can configure Palo Alto firewall to forward logs to Azure Sentinel right so for that there should be a Linux machine a proxy in fact syslog is in software so Palo Alto firewall will forward logs to Linux machine and from Linux to log analytic workspace. And even Linux machine can be uh, spinned up in Azure or even on-prem, no problem, right? So see like all these steps mentioned here. Similarly, if you want to forward logs of 40 gate firewall or maybe F5 appliances. So yes, uh, we have like connector for that. So you have just seen like 128 data connectors and 126 i'm sorry and even like continuously microsoft is adding number of connectors here aws azure ad even azure firewall you can forward azure firewall logs to sentinel right with the connector azure web application firewall storage account even like checkpoint firewall firepower Miraki umbrella right so next step is like configuring connector so in this lab in fact since we are using a windows virtual machine right in the cloud itself so if virtual machine is in the cloud so even we don't have to download and install agent manually right isn't is azure monitor isn't is installed automatically as an extension to the virtual machine and connected with log analytic workspace so done in very automated fashion but in case if your machine is in aws maybe on-prem then get isn't software will need to be then downloaded installed manually right but if your virtual machine is in azure cloud then uh, like steps are like minimized then okay so here like there is one virtual machine server one windows server in running state so objective is to collect security event logs of windows machine windows server to log analytic workspace means windows server should forward security events to where to log analytic workspace right so uh, in order to do that like select connector and the connector is like windows security events so here like there is one connector windows security events via ama azure monitor agent right so windows security event connector is used to uh, like forward or collect logs from server or server will forward security event logs to log analytic workspace and once successfully configured then we'll see here one connected one machine connected right okay so on the right hand side we uh, see the option like open connector page so click open connector page prerequisites to integrate uh, make sure you have workspace data sources read and write permission yes i do right 
configuration here create data collection rule create data collection rule rule name so i will just name it rule 01 free trial resource group next resources add resources so connector is to like collect logs from windows virtual machine and windows virtual machine is in the azure portal right so click here add resources and uh, all resource group subscription and in this subscription there is only one virtual machine running right so now what will happen data connector uh, will be created between log analytic workspace and server one virtual machine right apply next collect all security events common minimal or custom so all security events i want to collect from windows server machine so review and create right create and uh, this, like data connector is being created let me connect to virtual machine windows machine right so that we can you know like perform some activity or activities on windows server machine like creating or maybe deleting user accounts okay download and uh, successfully install and even you, you see like extension Install Azure Monitor Windows isn't for resource server one. So extension is automatically installed because virtual machine is in the Azure cloud. That is why. Click connect to connect Windows machine. So that's it. Just like uh, configuring a data connector. Now Windows machine will start forwarding Windows security events to log analytic workspace right and then of course we'll create a rule logic in sentinel for incident right with some condition as our admin password And uh, let me show you extension also extensions plus applications. So here, so Azure Monitor isn't by default installed here. All right. So you don't have to install manually. And even if I go to log analytic workspace one more time, my log analytic workspace. Azure virtual machine server one so server one virtual machine connected to this workspace my log analytics workspace and virtual machine cannot be connected with more than one like log analytic workspace at a time so if you want to connect with different log analytic workspace so just disconnect from here and then connect right so virtual machine connected even the same can be verified from here also one connected total 126 connectors and uh, very soon we are going to see security events all right so go to overview and see 273 events logs security events basically but as so there is no alert there is no incident right because there is no rule logic created and if you want to uh, see like new overview so you can change this to new overview right new overview experience you can always switch back to old one so new look in fact right that's where you can go if it data connectors nice look okay if you want you are comfortable with the old one legacy one so go this way also so now verified that uh, events 
like are collected by login analytic workspace windows machine is forwarding security events to log analytic workspace right so here we can see and also we can let me uh, show you logs right because it's like overview logs microsoft sentinel logs queries so here like we, we have like some built-in queries so close and like in the box here we can write push to query language and then hit like a click run output will be shown here right even on the left hand side like there are too many uh, built-in queries even you can use like that also but let me quickly uh, show you how you can use this so for example if i want to see security events right so security event and no filter security event so select and click run or shift enter from your keyboard run uh, let me make room space here all right so see here like too many logs okay so output is too many logs here so security event is what push to query language so write down and then run and here is the output different uh, like tabs account type computer event source name channel time generated right and too many fields basically so if you and, and see here like the columns you, you can customize as per your requirement now let us assume that uh, I want only five output. So take five, select and run or shift enter from your keyboard. So like pipe is forward purpose. Pipe is for filter. Filter. So first like security events. So all security events displayed. And now the next statement is take five. That I want only five. If you want two, three, four, you can do this. Uh, shift enter or run. So only two outputs. Good so far? Only two outputs, right? If you want to read more about like security events, so you can expand. Okay. So and even the filter can be used in the same line here also. Even I can use like pipe and then take two or take five. One of the same thing, right? Either in the same line or maybe in different one. Now to apply ambo filter where account type. Uh, you, you can take any any like uh, column in fact your account type or maybe computer name account right so if i type your account type and uh, account name so i select type contains are equals to so we have all the options so equals to and user so what's going to happen after running the push to query language so it's push to query language right kql so account type filter is what user so machines like will be gone then only user account type user right so we we can apply multiple you know like uh, I mean, like output of security event is narrowed down with tech 10, then further narrowed down when where account type and hit down run. So now you like see the output account type user, user, user. Let's say you have uh, 20, 30 virtual machines and you want to see like security event logs of a computer with the name server one. So you can 
create a filter where computer computer contains are equal to right server one okay server one select or shift enter run and see here if i replace server one with server two so i know like there is no server two so no output okay no output for last 24 hours so i hope you understand like how to uh, like write down basic custo query languages and when this kq will becomes really very very important so if you want to create filter rule based on your requirement and you th there is no built-in there is no template for that right there is no built-in query in azure monitor logs then yes at that time custo query language really very helpful even in case if you want to create a rule logic of your own you don't want to use template based rule logic so again, Kushto query language very, very important. So how you can do like a, a practice of Kushto query language. So for that, what you can do, you can type, there is one you are like a, a lab demo or URL, and that is aka.ms la demo, log analytic workspace demo. aka.ms slash la demo right a very good place for doing you know like uh, exercises of kushto query language because there are like raw data huge amount of data right so you can apply different filter you can practice kushto query language Okay, so really if you want to be your expert in KQL Kushto query language, then see here. You can use dummy or data provided by security event Microsoft. I don't want to use any filter run. So you don't have to you know like prepare your infra in fact. Simply if you want to do black practice of Kushto query language. Just go to this URL, LA demo, and uh, start doing like uh, hands on of like Kushto query language, showing 30,000 results, right? 30,000 results. So you can be expert in KQL, right? So you can refer Microsoft document for Kushto query language syntax, and here is the data, raw data, right? Dummy data, in fact. So you can utilize this. All right, so, but my objective is to show you a uh, incident, right? So at least we have verified that um, logs properly forwarded to Sentinel, means log analytic workspace, right? So click logs and um, overview. So now, 438 security events no alert no incident so now i want to create a rule in fact okay so i want to create a rule but using template so go to configuration section and on the configuration section there is analytics option right click analytics I will use rule like templates option, right? Rule template option. So I don't want to create my own rule because like here in templates, like there are too many options. And see here, a lot of like rules, Kushto query language, all it is written here. Okay. So even if you want to filter it out, then you can use filter from here. Right, data sources. So you can use like data source in which data source you want to or like uh, search for. So let us assume I want to create a rule for like uh, 
of uh, user account creation and deletion within 10 minutes so if a user account is created and deleted within 10 minutes right so incident should get generated right there should be an alert so do we have any rule logic for that built-in rule because we don't want to write down our own custo query language complex one so if i click here uh, user account now let me expand all right so on the right hand side see a user account created and deleted within 10 minutes so i want to create this rule from the template right i'm not creating from scratch it's template based and what is my objective my objective is like uh, to see an alert in sentinel if a user is created and deleted within 10 minutes right so already your name is selected user accounts created and deleted within 10 minutes description is here right so this can be indication of compromise ioc and an adverse adversary attempting to hide in the noise tactics and techniques severity medium go to rule logic tab and see here custo query language already written here even you want to modify then you can modify here you want to change like 10 minutes to maybe five minutes so yes can be edited right so if really don't don't want to write down you know, like very long or lengthy custo query language syntax here so there are too many uh, template rules in fact you can use that but for like customization or maybe to meet your uh, company requirement or your requirement in fact uh, knowledge of custo query language yes recommended because you can then write down your own rule query okay on the same page here we see run query every one day no i'm interested running maybe in every five minutes right in every five minutes and look up data from the last 24 hours no i want to show you so what i selected here run query every five minutes and look data from last an hour so there will be too many even fast past you because in every five minute right logs will be examined checked any like security event found there like user created and deleted from the last an hour right then alert will be generated but that's okay it's lab environment so even if there is fast pass to no problem incident settings enabled next do we want to create any automated response no review so all good create so a new rule from template is now created successfully open com mgmt dot msc from where we manage user accounts locally because there is no active directory server local users user so first i will create one user zone So user is created. Even let's say user is now member of administrators group. Apply. Okay. And then delete user. User is deleted. Right? Within a minute. Within a span of 10 minutes. Okay. Even if locally you want to see like the log windows logs security events so you can go to event viewer right so on this page security event logs are displayed okay and the event id so even like event id is used in writing down push to query language or any rule logic and not only in sentinel even in ibm q radar or some other sim tool also event id is really very very important right so for user creation, if event ID uh, 4726 is reserved, right? 
audit access, computer name, security, Azure admin. So a user account was deleted, right? User account was deleted. So I can even see server machine. You can check the system data. So user for user account deletion, even tidy is 4726, right? But we don't want to uh, like check each and every log misses maybe on the Windows machine like event logs or any log server even, right? And that's the reason like we uh, have created rule logic, right? Because we don't want to do that manually correlating logs in fact, right? Or like the user when user was created, when deleted, no, we don't want to do that. Because we know like security events are forwarded to log analytic workspace in Azure Sentinel. We have created a rule logic that if user is created or deleted within 10 minutes, so there should be an alert, right? So if again I go to overview page of Sentinel, so very soon we are going to see here alerts and incident, right? So even so now two alerts incident right if we go to incidents under threat management so incident ID2 user account created and deleted within 10 minutes right so events, alerts, even if you want to see like that specific event, so you can go to logs, all right? And uh, see like the username also displayed zone, right? Event ID, remember 4720, and there are some other event IDs also. So that's the way how like Azure Sentinel is configured in Azure. Okay, but it was just high level overview. In fact, not very deep dive. So if you want to learn more about Sentinel, Sim, Soar, like uh, workbook, hunting, matre attack, right? So I recommend you know, like taking up Azure Sentinel dedicated training program for that. Okay.